In these problems, we're being asked to look at some systems of two linear equations and determine whether they're what's called inconsistent or consistent or dependent. And we'll get into what those terms mean more in a moment. Um, but remember, when you have a system of two linear equations, uh, I'll just draw a little picture over here, it's two lines. And if they cross, they have a solution. And their solution is at the point where they cross. So the slopes of these lines is pretty important. Um, uh, if they have different slopes, they're going to cross somewhere. If they have the same slope, they're either never going to cross or they're maybe the same line and right on top of each other. And that's um, those three situations uh, are reflected in the re these three terms. An inconsistent system is where the lines are parallel and um, they never cross. So there's no solution there. A consistent system uh, typically means that the two lines cross and have a solution, usually one solution. Although one type of consistent system is a dependent system. And that is where it's actually two of the same line. So one right on top of each other and they have an infinite number of solutions. So the first thing we want to look at in these kinds of problems is the slopes of these lines and see if they're the same slope or not. So what I'd recommend doing is taking these equations that you're given here and solving them for y so they're in that y equals mx plus b form. So let's see, on this one I'd add x first. And I'm just move over here. We would get negative 3y equals x minus 6. Then we can divide both sides by a negative 3. So x over negative 3, I'm going to write that as negative 1 third x, just so that the slope is obvious. And negative 6 divided by negative 3 is a positive 2. OK, so there's my first equation. This one, let's see, I'll subtract x from both sides. I'll add 6. So I get 3y. Oh, I can see what's going to happen here. Equals negative x plus 6. Now I'm going to divide by 3. And look at this. I'm going to get exactly the same thing. Negative x divided by 3 is negative 1 third x. Oh, I forgot my x up on that one. And 6 divided by 3 is a positive 2. So not only do these lines have lines have the same slope, they have the same y-intercept, which really means that they're the same line. It's one right on top of each other. So that's the situation where the system is dependent, and it has infinitely many solutions. And then part of this uh, question says they must satisfy the, the following equation. Which equation must they satisfy? Well, we just figured that out. It's y equals negative 1 third x plus 2. All right, so that's an example of a dependent system. If you were to um, solve these for y and the slopes were the same, but the y-intercepts were different, that would mean you have two parallel lines that never cross. That would be an inconsistent system. Let's see what we've got over here. Um, I'm going to subtract x on the first equation here. We'll move over here again. 5y equals negative x plus 5. And then we'll divide by 5. And we're going to get y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 1. And let's see. Oh, this the second equation is almost identical. In fact, everything is identical, identical except the sign of the x term. And so when you solve this one for y, I'll let you try that on your own. You're going to get an almost identical equation, except the slope will have a different sign. It'll be a positive 1 fifth x plus 1. So what you can see here is that these, um, these two equations have different slopes. That means they cross somewhere. So there is a solution. This is what we call a consistent system. So it has a unique solution. So we'll check that. And now they want the x and y coordinates of that um, point that they cross. And you can find that in a number of ways. You could graph the system. Uh, I'm just going to use the elimination method where you add the two equations. Because I notice I've got an x and a negative x. What we want to do in elimination is make sure one of the variables disappears right away. If I add these two equations together, x plus negative x is 0. 5y plus 5y is 10y. 
and 5 plus 5 is 10. So dividing by 10 on both sides, we just get y equals 1. So I've got the, the y coordinate here. Now to get the x coordinate, we just plug that y value in one of the equations. So I'll, I'll plug it in up top. So x plus 5 times 1, which is just 5, equals 5. If I subtract 5 from both sides, I would just get x equals 0. So our solution for this one is the point 0, 1. So keep these three rules in mind as you're doing these problems. If the lines have different slopes, the system has a solution. If they have the same slopes but different y-intercepts, the system has no solution. It's inconsistent. And if they're the same lines um, exactly, so they have the same slope, the same y-intercept, then the, the, solution, the system has infinitely many solutions, and we call that dependent.